Hello Capricorn and welcome to Positive Light Tarot. My name is Tracy and I'm so happy that you are here with me today. This is your weekly reading from November 4th to the 10th. So we're going to get right into your reading. We're going to start with your energy cards and then of course we're going to get some tarot cards and find out what the messages are that are incoming for you for the week. So please remember this is a general reading. Take the parts that resonate and leave the rest. And if it does resonate, please leave comments. Let me know. I love connecting with your energy. And honestly, I really, truly appreciate all the love and support. So thank you very, very much. So Spirit Angels Guides, let's find out what those, those messages are for you, Capricorn. What are the messages and energies around the beautiful sign Capricorn? So the three cards that you got here was number 41, the seventh chakra, Archangel Uriel. You've got number 20, Envy, or what I also like to say, Inspiration, being inspired. And number 43, Man Holding Coin, definitely your energy is, is here. Uh, this is definitely you coming through. And again, with, there is no gender with any of the cards. Now, those are your incoming energies. We'll get to those in just a moment. We're going to start with the bottom of the deck and we're going to go three back. And these are your current energies, the energies you're bringing into the reading this week. So we've got number four, happy family. We've got number 36, the second chakra, uh, chakra and number 29, the world. So of course, seeing this beautiful world card, I always feel like that is, is it's kind of time to, to begin a new journey. It's time to begin a new chapter. Things are, I think you're feeling very uh, grounded. I think you're very, ha very happy a way the things are transpiring for you. Things are starting to close out in a nice way for you. Your second chakra is feeling a lot of uh, confidence. It's feeling a lot of self-worth. You know, I think in that, I think that you have, um, you have that about you. Uh, you know, you, um, you are very structured, you are very realistic and you know, you're a very accomplished person. And I think that you do hold a, a, a tremendous amount of self-worth. And I think it really shines through in your dedication to your family, your, your career, your financial goals. Um, it really does shine through. And now is the time for you to feel that you know, togetherness, that happy family, that solid foundation. I think there have been struggles. I think that you have been, you know, you have been ambitiously trying to reach certain goals in your life. And of course, you've had to withstand so much patience over these years and, and it's been very frustrating. But I'm happy to say with this beautiful world card and of course the happy family, I'm seeing that, you know, your current energies is that now you are finally ready to, to feel like things are moving in a nice direction for you and things are a lot more positive, uh, positive as well. Uh, any obstacles or, you, you know, pitfalls along the way, you know, that happy family is the rainbow of things starting to clear up for you. And again, that world card is really, you know, now it's time to, to embark on something new. And I think that, th that, that the universe is trying to say your hard work is now being, it, it's really paying off. All right, we've got number 41 for your incoming energies. And of course, that is the seventh chakra. That is your crown chakra. This is like almost like you're discovering your whole life purpose. And it almost is like a whole light bulb moment where you really feel like everything is aligning. Because the seventh chakra, when that crown chakra is in alignment, it is said that all of the other chakras as well, uh, you know, are open. They're open to receive. They're open to, to receive blessings. And, and again, that just helps to balance out everything in your life. And I think that you're going through a moment now because you are able to close certain chapters as well, because you are ready to begin something new. There's a new phase of your life coming into being here. And this seventh chakra is really saying it's almost as if you, you really are enlightened about the path that you want to go on. Number 20, envy. Uh, again, envy. There can, Some people can be very envious of you, Capricorn. Uh, that definitely can, can be. And it can be other people looking at your situation from an outside view because they are, uh, they don't see all the hard work that you put into everything. Sometimes they just think, wow, you know, they're so blessed. They're so lucky. Oh my goodness. Everything just seems to fall in line for them. Uh, you know, but they don't see behind the closed doors. They don't see the darkness that you have felt and that you have been working extremely hard to get where you are. And you're very deserving of the energy. 
energy, uh, the pace, patience that you've endured over these many, many years to, to you know, be able to receive your blessings has, has been remarkable. Uh, you know, and I, again, it really, it really has tested you in a certain way as well. And I think this is why having the seventh chakra, uh, your enlightenment period, this, this is so well deserved. Uh, and again, envy can also be our, um, you know, we, we also sometimes look at other people's valuables. We look at their life. We take, we take account of, of everything that's going on around our surroundings. And sometimes we look and we say, you know what, kind of wish that, you know, maybe, uh, you know, things would kind of work out for me in this direction. And I think that that is human nature. And I don't think that it is, uh, I think that we have to look at it as it gives us inspiration to drive uh, to the next level. And I think that you have so much drive. Uh, I think that your traditional values, your wise planning, your endurance gives you the drive to continuously be uh, setting new goals and setting new ambitions. And, and I think actually it's a beautiful energy. The man holding a coin number 43 is definitely your energy. Of course, this comes through as masculine, but there is no gender with any of the cards. I think it just shows your sense of leadership and empowerment at this time. And the, the, that again, the ambitious plans that you have had set for yourself throughout the years, uh, you know, are really, everything is really starting to come uh, come full circle for you now. And again, full circle is the full circle of that beautiful world. All right, so some lovely energies for you uh, in coming here this week. All right, so now let's get your nine card spread. So we are going to do the tarot cards because these are gonna help give us some, a little bit more in depth on the messages that, that interact with your, um, with your energies. There we go, oops, sorry. I just want you to be able to see these a little bit better. There we go. And we're gonna do the nine cards. So I'm gonna start with the, uh, we're gonna lay out all nine cards. Then I'm gonna start with the first row. So actually let's give these a shuffle. Spirit, angels, and guides for the beautiful sign Capricorn. We're gonna start with the first row. The energies you would like to share, the messages that are coming through this week, November 4th to the 10th for the beautiful sign Capricorn. All right, so we've got, for the first row, we've got number 17, the star. Very much healing energy, wishing upon a star. It's time, it's time, right? I think you all feel it. Uh, the king of swords, again, very, very uh, leader, uh, leadership energy with the king. Um, very much about truth, integrity. Uh, you do everything with, a, you're really getting all the facts you need. And then the knight of cups is a proposal of some sort. It's opening your heart up to love. Loving the things in life, starting to appreciate the things in life at a, at a different level. Uh, let's get the second row. The second row here. And there we go. Well, actually, we've got that one's for the third row. That one goes at the top. In the center of your reading, look what you have here, the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, let's just read these. So we've got the Seven of Swords. I think, you're, I think you've got some strategies that you've got planning. I think you've been planning things for a long time and I think that you're keeping them a little bit close to your chest. The Ace of Pentacles is all the new opportunities. It's because parts of your life, you're really finding that chapters of your life are finally, finally, you know, you're able to uh, cross, the, uh, cross the T's and dot the I's and now there's a new opportunities being offered as well. And then you've got cycles changing with the Wheel of Fortune, so expansion. At the top here, you've got the Fool energy. So again, you're end the Fool's journey with the World card, and then you're opening up a whole new beginning. And again, I really feel like those chapters of your life, you're on a whole new, you have a whole new life purpose. You have a, no, a new adventure that you're ready to start. Let's get the second and third cards for the beautiful sign Capricorn, and then we will go into detail here. You've got the Two of Swords, feeling a little bit of indecision. And then you've got number four, the emperor, taking your power back. Absolutely. All right. I love that, that in the center of your reading here, you have this ace of pentacles because that really is all about a new beginning happening for you, a new opening, especially with the fool card in here as well. I think that there's a lot of opportunities and I think there's a lot of things presenting themselves for you. And I think that uh, right now you are not ready to share everything with everybody. I think right now you're keeping things a little bit to yourself. Uh, I think you're waiting to, to get the information that you need, the clarity that you need, so that when you are ready to share this information, 
you, you really feel that it's going to expand in the right direction. All right, that's just a little bit of, of what's going on here, but let's start with the first row. We're gonna take each card individually and then we are going to clarify if need be. So we've got number 17, the star, and again, that is Aquarius energy. So some of you, Capricorn, could be on the cusp of Aquarius. Uh, this is, again, it is a healing card, there's no doubt. It is a hopeful card. It's really starting to feel like things are finally hopeful. Not, not hopeful in the way, oh, I hope that things are going to work out in my favor. It is actually, uh, it, things are starting to transpire and there's, there's signs that are starting to peek through, that are starting to show through, that are really giving you, they're, they're, uh, giving you confirmation uh, that you are, are starting to, to, to see uh, things paying off for you here. So the star card, absolutely beautiful energy. Uh, along with the star, you've got that king of swords. And again, I think that's you really getting to the truth of everything. Uh, kings are leaders by nature. Uh, this king, of course, does not use um, his emotions in any way to to figure out to, to figure out solutions to problems. Uh, he looks for the facts and he gets the facts. He gets to the truth of the matter. He holds that that he holds that sword proudly. He's also seeking justice. He's seeking fair contracts. He's seeking equality. It's important to him. All of those, those things, all of those measures are important. And I think that's what's of great importance to you right now, especially since there are parts of your world that you feel like are kind of, you know, you're, you're wrapping things up and we are going to be having that uh, full moon. So we have a beautiful full moon coming. Um, I believe it is just a moment. I think it's on the 17th of the, no, it's on the 15th. Sorry, November. November 15th in the sign of Taurus. So that's going to be, um, that is really going to be us really being determined to get the things that we want. And I think that you're getting to the truth of what you really want, what's really important for you. Then the Knight of Cups here is showing the softer side of things. Proposals. These could be proposals of some sort. And again, it has to do with, uh, it has to do with the way our heart, um, our heart matters. And because, you know, again, uh, yes, we can get all the facts and we can, you know, uh, have all the energy and be motivated and all the creativity and, and all of that. But also, too, it has to be what our heart wants as well, because we want to put love into everything to, you know, that gives us the great sense of balance as well. And I think the Knight of Cups can be a proposal of some sort. Absolutely. It can be a proposal that really has been something that you have been wanting deep down inside of your heart and you're starting to feel like there's a lot more feelings coming across because things are starting to feel um feel at their best really you know and i think it's been a while since it's it's been feeling that way for you all right so let's get your clarifying cards we're going to start with that beautiful star card and again i always when you see this illustration you know you can see that your energy that your emotions are flowing really beautifully here and you know things are aligning the stars are aligned in the sky here and there's one big star and that's the star to be wishing upon i think that there are a lot of wishes that can be granted and i think the reason they they have a have the capability of actually coming to fruition for you is because of all the hard work and dedication that you have been putting uh, and setting for yourself so you got number one the magician two major arcana cards here this is a whole new beginning. I really, again, with that seventh chakra, really showing that there is a whole new sense of life purpose going, uh, you know, coming and transpiring for you. With this beautiful magician card, that is all new beginnings as well. And it's a very powerful card. Uh, we, you know, we have, um, you know, we have the, we just went through the uh, new moon on November 1st in the sign Scorpio. Scorpio is all about transformations. So I really do believe that, you know, you are ready for, uh, ready to see transformations happening in your life. And of course, uh, Scorpio is ruled by Pluto. And we know very well that uh, Pluto has been in the sign of Capricorn, for a very, very long time. And actually towards the end of the month, I think it's the 17th of November or there or after, but later part in November, uh, Pluto will be moving into Aquarius. And, you know, I think it's going to, it's going to really help to balance things out for you again. Uh, you know, there's been so much transformative energy going on for so long. Uh, now it's time for you to reap the rewards of all the hard work that you've been putting into everything. Starting to see that everything that you have been building towards um, is, is actually starting to play itself out in a favorable way for you and with this a magician card again you have the power you have all the tools because the universe is giving you infinite possibilities and they're giving you the power to be able to make those infinite possibilities become reality it's not just about wishing upon stars but it's actually about manifesting the things that you want and i think that you're in a powerful position to do so all right let's get this king of swords and find out because i love that this king of swords is here because he's very justice based <laughs> wow 
Well, there you go. That's uh, interesting. So I said he's very justice based and then you get number 11 justice. So actually, you know, again, if there has been contracts, if you are um, waiting on contracts or agreements to be signed uh, and you're, you know, you, it's important that you really pay attention to the fine details, pay attention to the fine print, make sure that everything is in alignment exactly the way that you have prepared it to be. Because you don't want to come across something that um, maybe that something's been missed, uh, uh, that there's a line in that contract that uh, is a little bit vague. You want to get all the clarity that you possibly can uh, because this can be a very fair contract. I do believe it has something to do with a new opportunity or a new offer of some sort. Uh, there's definitely a lot of new energy uh, surrounding you for this week. Uh, but you definitely with this beautiful justice here, it is everything balancing nicely in your favor. Uh, it's like a good karma too. And I really feel that good karma is coming back to you. I think that you have been putting out really good vibes. I think that everything that you manifest is for your highest good, but for the highest good of those around you as well. And now that justice is being served and it's really coming out in your favor. All right, so let's see. With this too, I'm seeing a lot of Libra energy. So if Libra is in your in your chart, if you know your birth chart, then that could be something that is very uh, much uh, part of your birth chart. Or it could be a supporting person around you that is of Libra sign as well. Let's get the Knight of Cups. Let's find out. There could be an offer, a proposal that's coming in that's, that is actually um, making your heart feel really um, good at this time. You know, again, like when we see everything in life start to work out for us, especially if we've been really diligent about things and we've been really persevering for a lot of things, you know, when we start to see that things are starting to transform for us nicely, uh, it opens up our heart and now all of a sudden we're starting to just feel the, a sense of love around us. Love for ourselves, love for people, love for our job. A, a different whole it's almost as like you're taking everything to a new level but from a heart perspective and interesting enough you got the knight of cups with the knight of chalice which is the knight of cups again so double for some of you it really could be a new beginning with love absolutely and it could be love that has existed for a very long time um, you could be um, surrounding yourself with new opportunities of people around you that show you the softer side of things somebody who really does um, you know somebody who maybe is more of watery energy and again water signs are going to be your Scorpio, uh, Pisces, and Cancer signs. Not that it has to be those by any means, uh, but it might make sense for some of you as well. Uh, but you know, with having a double uh, Knight of Cups, there is a proposal of some sort being offered to you, and I think it's something that's opening up your your mind to to love. Uh, and again, that love doesn't always have to be you know, romantic love, but it certainly can be. Uh, but it also can be just, I think your whole energy level is transforming too. And I think a lot of that is because that seventh chakra is really open. Uh, you're open to new ideas and you're really doing things by following your heart as well. All right, in the center of your reading here, we've got the Seven of Swords. Now, of course, that can be taken two ways. It can be taken as, watch out, there could be somebody who's a little deceitful. Maybe there is somebody around you that's a little bit envious because you know what? Again, like I said, people only see what they want to see as well. You know, they don't see all the background worry and stress and hard work and perseverance and patience that we, that we, that we endure to get to reach the goals that we have set for ourselves. They only see the uh, the nice cars or 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 you know the the raise in pay or you know that we that we've made a nice um, life for ourselves where we're able to leave a legacy or we're able to share with our family. People don't see that. Um, so that could be somebody around you, it could be a situation around you, but it also could be. I see that there's a tremendous amount of opportunity opening up for you. And sometimes when that happens, we, we, you know, until we feel really good about where the contract is going or where the offer is going, it's something that we kind of want to keep close to us. So it's really like you're planning a strategy secretly, which is fine. Nowhere, anywhere does it state that we have to share everything with everyone. So, you know, this could be a good time for you to just continuous, continually, continuously planning your strategies, uh, fine tune them, make sure that everything is exactly the way that you want it to be for fairness. And then you will alleviate any of that deception around you as well. You won't have to worry about that. Ace of Pentacles in the beginning is that new offer. And of course, we've got that beautiful wheel at the, which is the cycles are changing in your life. 
there are closing you things are starting to close out for you and uh and you know life is about that we go through that every single day there's something something closes and then something new begins it's just the way the cycle of life happens uh, and you know what this is this is really um, a very nice positive uh energy uh, to move forward here. Let's start and find out the clarifying card for that seven of swords. Let's find out what's going on. Planning, planning a strategy to a little secretly, secret, secretively, which is fine. We've got the king of wands, another king energy. So you've got a lot of empowerment in your reading. There is a lot of masculine energy as well. Sometimes that we are, that's required. It's really that yang energy where you are taking, you know, you're taking control of situations, you know, and that, and that's sometimes we are, we have no choice. We have to be in control of situations. I think you're taking the lead and I think you're passionately taking the lead towards strategies around you. Um, you are ready to embark on new things in your life. And I think that you are really feeling confidence. I think you're feeling really strong about your position where you're at at this time and the king of wands is really showing your dedication to to success um, because you've got the drive and you've got the you've got this incentive to really just want to keep moving uh, very much high energy cards because wands are your fiery energies so sagittarius leo uh, and aries energy you've got two um kind of aries sort of energies here it means you're ready to go 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 and it's fantastic it's beautiful energy uh, and i think that you are planning a set i think you are planning strategies and I think that once that strategy you feel like it is uh, is fair and that uh, that everything you know that it's prepared properly that you haven't missed any loopholes that there's no loopholes for anything you know to to get missed um, you're going to run with this plan you're going to run with it and you're going to run with it with an intense sense of passion let's find out with this ace of pentacles in the middle i really do believe there is a contract uh, I think that you've been a little bit at, at an indecision and it could be that's why you've been kind of planning things secretly because you know what? There's still some choices and some decisions that need to be made. All right. Oh my goodness. So we've got three that came out here. I'm going to take them all. I know that's a lot, but Capricorn, you guys have, are such wonderful supporters and I thank you so much for all of that. Uh, with that Ace of Pentacles, you got the Ace of Wands. So there is an opportunity of some sort. And then for some of, for, for, I don't know why this is coming, but because you've got the Two of Swords beside both Aces, I'm wondering if you are find it, finding it difficult to make a decision because there might be two opportunities for you at this time. There could be two uh, and and uh, with with... Again, with the King of Swords energy and the Justice, it could be about some sort of, sort of new contract, a revision of a contract, a, a completely new contract uh, or agreement or, or something of some sort. Uh, you've got the Queen of Wands energy. So we have extreme fiery energy, meaning I think this is something that puts a smile on your face. I think this is energy that really is, is setting a, a whole new a passionate way for you, uh, especially with the Ace of Wands and the Queen of Wands both coming up here. Um, this is uh, this could be opportunities of a lifetime that really, um, I, you know, again, it's it's not just about it's not, this isn't an opportunity that's just about the numbers and just about the money. It, it, it's just, it's so much more than that. And uh, I think that's why you might be at a crossroads right now. We'll get to that card later, but there is a crossroads because I think there's some decisions that are definitely going to have to be made. Uh, you also got the King of Swords, so I do truly believe that it is something that is going to have to be based on truth. Uh, I do believe that it is something to do with a contract because, again, you've got two King of Swords and you've got the Justice. So, again, there uh, there are new opportunities, new new presenta uh, presentation of something is being offered to you. Uh, it is revitalizing all of your energy uh, in a very positive way, and I, I do believe that it has a lot of, uh, there's a lot of fairness with, with what is happening here. I think that it's your time. This is your time. Uh, number 10, the wheel. So cycles changing in your favor. Expansion. For some of you, it really could be that you've decided to, uh, to open up your own business. Ta stop working for other people. It's time to do things for yourself now. You got the Hierophant, number five. Two major arcana cards right here as well. So number five, the Hierophant is Taurus energy. And we did talk briefly about the uh, the full moon that's coming on the 15th of November. And that is going to be the last super moon of the year. It is in the sign Taurus. And again, this is Taurus energy. So you could find, and even though I know this, 
you know, this, the energies I'm, I'm pulling through here are for the week from the 4th to the 10th, but it doesn't mean that, it, it, that these energies don't, you know, they're fluid. Energy is fluid, so it can, you know, transpire th throughout many months to come. Um, but I think the beginning phases are going to start in the week, and then you're going to start to think, see things transform as we move on. But the, uh, the wheel of the year here, cycles are changing, and it could be around the full moon this month. So pay attention to things that are happening around you at that time. Uh, but the Hierophant is, again, being Taurus energy. This, uh, this really is uh, your commitment to things as well. And I do think, I think there's commitments in your life. I think the things you've either committed yourself to or new commitments that are coming into being uh, that are going through a whole cycle change. So again, if, the, if you are romantically linked with somebody, that you could see transformations taking place there as well. Uh, in a very positive way, maybe you're taking things to the next level. Uh, the Hierophant is, uh, you know, the Hierophant really is uh, very strong in his beliefs very very much in his faith he practices it he he believes in it it's sacred to him his values his core values are very important and you know really the people that he surrounds himself with are also people that that really he wants to be on that same page with him as well again no gender with the cards the uh the the hierophant has the ability to connect from heaven to earth as well just very much like the magician so again there's a lot of powerful energy in your reading this week and with this hierophant energy uh, i do uh, i do believe that um that something that you've committed to your committed in your life is going through some some changes but i think in a very positive way i think that 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 again you're seeing uh you're seeing that happy family right you're seeing that everything is flowing much uh, much more positive for you in the last row here we have got the fool so the beginning of the fool's journey you are ready to embark on a new beginning again you know with the world you're closing out those chapters and you're beginning something completely new with many different opportunities being offered to you which is putting you at a crossroads because you're not exactly sure which road to take sometimes we have to use our intuition and with that uh, second chakra you know, you could be using your intuition as well to uh, to help guide you in the right direction. And again, because you have such a strong faith and belief system and you have a lot of wisdom within you, you, you can trust upon your own advice really to, to help you as well. Uh, when you're able to remove the blindfold, when you get the clarity that you need, and there is a lot of clarity coming through here, especially with all of this King of Swords energy, uh, you will be able to <clears throat> feel confident in with re removing um, the your arms across your heart, you're almost crossing off your heart to try and make a decision here. Uh, and you once you remove that blindfold, you'll be able to turn yourself around and see all the possibilities that are around you. Number four, the emperor is very much Aries energy and you are taking action here. This is a, a great sense of empowerment. Um, again, taking control of your situation, taking your power back and putting yourself in a leadership position, meaning that you're taking the lead in your life. You are ready to manifest and you have been manifesting all of the things that you want to, to come out in, in, for your highest good. And this is you taking the power, taking the, uh, the initiative. You're taking the initiative and taking the lead. Uh, this can also be a very masculine energy as well, can represent fatherly energy. So it could have something to do with father figure for some of you could be messages from your father maybe giving you some advice, helping you to remove the blindfold, helping you to figure out how to really bring new beginnings into your life. All right, let's get a message for the fool. Spirit Angels Guides. And you got the King of Chalices, so a King of Cups as well. So again, I believe there's a lot of watery energy around you right now. I think that you are, um, I think that you are able to uh, accept love around you. You do follow your heart with certain things, but you're also very, um, very disciplined. And, and that's and that's good, especially with this new beginning. I think your heart really wants to to explore something new, and it's ready to explore something new. So for some of you, it really can be uh, a, a new relationship or a relationship that's going through a revision that is really opening your heart up to new adventures. Uh, but I think that you're staying very grounded with your energy, and that's important too. Uh, we can't make all decisions with our heart. Uh, you know, there has to be beautiful balance, and I do see that in your reading as well. Let's find out with the Two of Swords. Two of Swords. And the Two of Swords, and you got the Knight of Wands. Again, more fiery energy. You've got the King of Wands, you've got the Queen of Wands, and you've got the Knight of Wands. 
taking action. Yeah, you see, you do. You are not going to stay at this standstill for very long. You you might be feeling like you're at an impasse, but you know what? This this Knight of Wands is an adventurer. He wants action. He does not want to sit around and wait. He's done. His patience is 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 done. And now he says, "That's it. I am making a decision. I'm moving forward. I'm removing the blindfold, and I am going to really. I am so determined that I am going to bring." Everything that I have planned out in my mind is all going to, to, to come to fruition for me. And I think that you can set those high standards because I think that you're not afraid of the hard work that you have to put into things to get the results that you want. So you are ready to take action now. No more sitting back with that blindfold on. You're getting, you're getting to the root of everything. You're getting your clarity. Let's find out with the emperor. Oh, look at That's what wanted to come out and it came out right away. So you got... Uh, you got the uh, the Ten of Chalices, which is the Ten of Cups. Beautiful, beautiful energy. Uh, this is really feeling a great sense of fulfillment. Tens are about completed cycles, and again, you've got uh, you've got a couple of tens here in your reading. And yeah, you not only do you have a couple of tens, but you've also got a couple of aces. You've got three aces actually in your reading. So one, one, one. Beautiful. Uh, this is really feeling a great sense of happiness. Not only do you feel uh, a completion where your heart is concerned from a heart's perspective, but you're feeling it from, from many different aspects of your life. Uh, I think any struggles that you have gone through in the past, you're really starting to close the chapter on all of that. I think that everything is coming full circle for you now, Capricorn, and you are starting to feel the great blessings that are around you. You are very grateful for all of the opportunities that present themselves and you show the world you show the world that in the things that you do the contributions that you make to your relationships to the people that are around you to community groups uh, could even be to your own faith and religion um, but all of this happiness is coming back to you because it's something you've been putting out there for a very long time very well deserved energy for you all right Capricorn let's get your message from spirit here let's find out what that message is it says surrender to fear. So let go of fearful stories you are telling yourself. Stay in the moment. Focus on solutions and celebrate, celebrate every baby step forward. And you are making some new steps forward. That's what that fool energy is. You are taking a leap of faith here and you're surrendering, you're surrendering to fear because there's no need to be fearful anymore. And the other message they want you to have here is surrender to the beauty of the natural world. Take a relaxing break. Oh, I think it's time for you to take a relaxing break. It's well deserved. Spend time in nature. Replenish yourself by feeling the beauty and the ecstasy there. And again, it's really, it's taking that time out for you. And it's really, you, you are deserving of that energy at this time. And I think that's what your angels are trying to say. You've worked so hard. Now, now enjoy the moment. Live in the moment. Enjoy the moment. Take some time out for yourself. Revitalize your energy. We're going to get an additional angel message. And that is the message. And it says rebirth. Absolutely. You have a whole rebirth. That seventh chakra is a whole, whole, like a, a rebirth happening as well. I'm in a constant bloom. I am refreshed, rejuvenated, and reborn. That's how you're going to feel because you're taking the time out for yourself. You have entered a period of spiritual awakening and rebirth where you have the opportunity to align with your higher self and the over overarching principles that guide you. The angels say to be prepared to be the best you can be. Wow, that's that seventh chakra energy for sure. You are going through a whole rebirth. That is your, again, you know, the world, things are coming full circle in a beautiful, fair way, and you are opening up the doors to a new beginning here. So you are going through a rebirth, a restructure of your whole life. It's lovely, it's about time. All right, let's get your final angel number and the message attached to it. So you remember you have three aces and you've got a couple of tens as well. So very important numbers for you. And progress. So you are in a progressive phase. Six, seven, eight combination. You are making progress and advancement towards your goals. Stay focused and committed to your journey knowing that success is within reach. So it's within reach. It's not far in the distance anymore. It's actually coming in for you now. You're progressing towards all of that abundance. Thank you so much, uh, Capricorn, for joining me today. I hope that you enjoyed your reading. I hope that it makes sense to you. I hope that parts of it resonate. And I know it can't always, but if it does, please leave me comments. I love reading them. Please also consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. And until next time, sending you love, light, and positive vibes.